Hello, and thank you for calling the U.S. Department of Hazardous Waste Emergency Hotline. How can I help you? Oh, thank Christ you picked up. I'm calling the number printed on the side of the barrels that are leaking. Hold on. Just calm down and tell me who and where you are so I can help you. Okay, great. Uh... My name is Dr. Stephen Bellringer. I work at Evandale Community Hospital here in Evandale, Texas. All right, now start at the beginning. Uh, over the past few months, locals have been coming into the hospital with a strange illness. Bodies filled with unknown toxins causing tumors until their organs suddenly fail. We've had over a dozen deaths, and every day more and more people are coming in infected. We can't keep up with them anymore. So I came out here to test their well water, and I stumbled across this abandoned chemical storage shed. It's leaking like crazy, and has uh, completely saturated the groundwater, and is now apparently in the public drinking water. This is what, what's causing the illness. C can you help? You just stay where you are. Help is on the way. This looks like a job for the damage control team. All right, team, here's the situation. A small, isolated town in Texas has been poisoned by an old Air Force toxic chemical dump. We need to move fast. First off, BA, I need you to take a covert hazmat team in there and clean all those toxic barrels out of that site. Sure thing, Hannibal. Where do you want me to go with them? Well, I've arranged for them to be transported over the Mexican border and dumped into a lake. Just as long as we ain't flying. I ain't getting on no plane, Hannibal. Fine, but when you get back, I want you to bring in some construction equipment and bulldoze the site. Cover the whole area with dirt and cement. No one could ever know it was a chemical dump. You got it? I'm on it. All right, next, Murdoch. I need you to arrange a meeting with this Dr. Bellringer. He seems to be the only one down there who knows what's going on. Ask him to bring all the evidence he has about the illness, and then make sure he meets with an unfortunate accident, and verify the evidence is burned up in the car with him. But Hannibal, what if he's already gone to the press? Hmm. Write a suicide note making him out to be deranged and paranoid. Plant some drugs in his house for authorities to find. That should discredit anything he's already told to the press. Don't worry, Hannibal. Hal and Mad Murdoch is on the job. And that just leaves you, Face Man. You're in charge of the legal team. Make sure there's no way for the people of Evandale to hold the U.S. government or military accountable for the illness. Contact the CDC and have them say it was Salmonella or Mad Cal or some shit like that. Sure thing, Hannibal, but uh, what are you going to do? Well, first I'm going to finish my cigar. And then I'm going to call the Pentagon and let them know that the public relations disaster in Evandale has been averted. I love it when a plan comes together. All thanks to the Damage Control Team.